very first family hub and we do plan to roll out many more across Cumberland as well as having a satellite offer within communities and also a digital offer so that we meet the needs of our residents. The reason why this is really important is as Cumberland we vow to put families and people at the heart of everything we do and we need to create a really strong and robust early help and prevention service and the Family Hub allows us to do this. It allows us to work with our partners, it allows us to work with our families in the heart of their communities. From Covid we've seen a lot of issues, we've got a cost of living crisis, we've got people coming through with, with more issues around neurodiversity, around poverty, around health and well-being and being in the heart of the community and providing support and signposting is what's going to help us tackle that. Our Family Hubs is all about a partnership model, ensuring that we've got a number of different services under the same roof so families don't have to find help from lots of different places so they can come in our hub. It's a warm, welcoming space where families can get the information, advice, guidance, use the play spaces, have some time with other professionals if needed in a time that suits them as well. And the co-location of services is really important because what families tell us all the time is they've got to navigate lots of different places so if we can bring the people to them that they they need access and that's the best offer we can do for them. A great addition and I'm really pleased to be asked to be on the steering group because I'm a, a kinship carer so it's great that all families are included here. Um, families come in many shapes and sizes. Today at our launch event for the Family Hub we've had lots of families here visiting us. We've had stalls from a lot of our partner agencies such as Citizens Advice, the Social Prescribing Team, Family Action um, and the Fire Engine and it's great to see so many people coming down to see what we've got on offer and what's going to be on our timetable. Being able to actually have conversations with our partner agencies so that we can understand um, what agencies are available for being able to signpost some of our children and family to, but also for um, partner agencies to understand our services. Um, mental health covers a wide range. It's nice to have a hub in town if I want a quick drop in to have a nice chill for any of my children. <laughs> whether it be her with having a sensory because she's got autism or my 18 month where I can bring to baby groups. It's nice to actually go out and have somewhere to actually have them socialise. But mums to actually come and socialise with other mums, it, it, that's something that's important and really so it's not only kids socialising, it's mums socialising in which is what you really need you can't be cooped up in the house it's definitely needed round here for a lot of different reasons yeah because i've got two autistic children um so i'd probably use it with the sensory room and them um definitely advice with the, with them as well i think it's a really good thing as a 17 year old myself i feel like sometimes you struggle to find support you don't really know where to go to i'm incredibly lucky that i've got a supportive family i've got my mum and dad at home but not everybody can say that so I think this is a really great thing. If, even if you're just looking for somewhere to turn to, advice, support, there's a lot of different things here. Like I've been in a room over there and there's stuff about like alcohol abuse people could turn to if they may be struggling with alcohol abuse, drug abuse, even sexual health. There's loads of different things in there. I just think this is a really great place for people that need somewhere to turn to.